something... Fuck me. Something didn't happen in the control room that is fuck off apparently supposed to happen. Let's see if we can go make it. There is no fourth pipe. I did this right. But what's supposed to happen is this is supposed to come off. And that's what I would use the crank for. So let's just. Maybe I just never let the door close? No, I did. 100% I did. Correct. This is exactly what's in the IGN guide. So something's not right. What did I miss? Because it says I'm supposed to go back. get out of here and that this is supposed to come off. Well it sure shit doesn't man. Uh, even if that doesn't break it looks like I would just then go to this cistern like we did and lower lower the water level and then what it says after that is to go straight across to what is listed as the morgue. But... That doesn't seem to happen. Like I can't lower that bridge? Maybe I should put these back. Maybe there's something I'm doing wrong with these. Wait. Wait, wait, maybe these don't match what's on the other side? Maybe? Because these are locked, right? Yeah, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to emulate that, but let's give it a shot. So Uh, that doesn't 
doesn't seem to do anything. Fucking... Didn't accomplish nothing, did I? We're just stuck and we need to push to dislodge. Well, that's fine, but what the fuck do you want me to do about it? I don't have anything here to throw at it. Okay, you want the fucking crank, asshole? How about this? How about the drill? Ah, oh. oh, so annoying. Now I'm just irritated. Oh my gosh, I don't fucking know. Fuck you. Take the bridge, Daniel! No one can throw this this high. See? Suck my balls. <sighs> the fuck do you want from me? Can't even hit the dang thing. The human being can solve any problem. Cereal? Come on, dude. I have to at least try this. Oh my goodness, right? There, maybe that's as close as I can get. Fuck you. Okay, so that's not what you do? How the fuck else can I. I think I throw it up there and then pick it up. This feels too convoluted. They wouldn't make it this stupid, would they? Dang, you're the one that's stupid! Possibly. Here, fucking eat this. You for fucking real. Whatever, Sweden. Whatever. Daniel, Do it you has see been what the shadow it has for now. Come, let's get this out of here so we can get some peace. Yes, let's. Where to? Just down the corridor to the morgue. Are there more dead men there? You did well, Daniel. Come, let's get going. This is bad. Now that I'm crazy. Running out Who the fuck wrote that last puzzle? Alexander along with Daniel makes up the foundation for the entire story. Together they make the core conflict. There was a lot of background for this character as he is in a sense the villain, so I wanted to do everything that I could to make him likable and have people sympathize with him. It's just the best way to make a bad guy. If we can have the player feel for their opponent, they might start questioning their own actions. Alexander's story is quite interesting in its own right, but in the end it was important to have the story deal with the relationship between oh. Daniel and Alexander. No, I'm sorry. That's why there is so much about the last few weeks and so little about the history of Alexander. Because after all, since we're playing Daniel and he seemed to want to get back at Alexander, we the player want to know how bad it really was and decide for ourselves if we think he should be punished. That's why your endings are like that. Well, he ain't one of us. So, yeah. I'm not gonna let him ascend into Cthulhu verse. That's not happening. Because that's gross! Listen, you can't just let rich guys with steam engines commune with Cthulhu. You have to stop them. If you don't stop them, nobody will. It's the drugstore, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me, tell me about the drugs. The strange deaths among the servants and the prisoners have finally been resolved. 
Seems that the drain sewer, which has recently been opened up for use as a means of transport, is plagued by peculiar poisonous fungi. Then Joel Miller arrived. The victim seems to have suffered an extremely quick outbreak of sickness affecting the entire body. Some of my men, including myself, are blissfully spared this calamity, but it is clear that this cripples my progress. The prisoners die quickly, and their contaminated vitae lacks the energy I need. I shall immediately start working on a vaccine. Because they knew what that was? Oh wait, dang, didn't you just say he's not of this world? Uh, listen, even space aliens and other dimensions have vaccines, right? Vaccine trials. The vaccine enabling my men to work in the fungi ridden sewer is a definite success! Fortunately, only a few of the servants have been remedied as the procedure proved difficult. The others will perish, and eventually I will have to create more of them to keep my experiments running. Note that an injection of vaccinated blood will work as a shield long enough to pass the sewers without any risk of infection. It will do fine for prisoner transport. Just put the good blood in them. I fear for Daniel, for he is reckless. He is tainted by the approaching shadow and will not be able to pass the gate. Will he be able to accept this in the end? My love, I've seen evil in him. How am I to trust him with the truth? What cruel irony that I have to do unto him what Agrippa did unto me. Agrippa, you say? Okay, so shenanigans are going on and I'm definitely the bad guy. I mean, we already knew that, but when you're playing this game, were you like, oh, what? First time through, oh, I'm the body. I mean, that's a pretty cool idea. Don't tell them, oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm the body. Full show. Sorry, guys. Oh, you guys were just... Yeah. Alrighty. I noticed you put lanterns over the things you want me to see. Sorry about that, guys. I'll just leave you alone. It's not a good time. Man. Jeez. Alright, don't look at them. Give them some private- Oh, fuck! Do anything to any of you? Do any of you work? Nope. Okay, let's just, uh. Yeah. As with the cistern, this takes the player closer to Daniel's dark past. It was important here that the corpses did not have the normal gory shock value, but was more true to reality and disturbing. We really wanted to approach this stuff with respect and not just show it in an exploitative fashion. I hope that shows when you play the game. Well, their dicks aren't hanging out full on in my face, so I think that's fair enough. I mean, that's a that's a dick, but it's not like... I hear you breathing, Daniel. Do you hear me? Have you changed your mind? Are you talking to me from the basement, dude? Because I gotta tell ya... Body is stiff from rigor mortis and it can't be older than a day. Can I do anything to him now? Huh. Okay, so... About that vaccine though, friends. What am I trying to do? Needle? There is something missing. Can I do this? Okay, maybe there's something in one of the rooms I haven't picked up. Had the right idea about the needle though there, friend, didn't I? <laughs> okay, sorry guys. I'm trying not to look at you, but I need um Okay, I can't Help pick you. Sorry. Find a way. I'm stepping on him, man. They must have done something good to be respectful, because I feel like I'm violating these guys by being in here and they ain't even real. 
you guys have what I need? No, I... Oh, they put two of them in there. That's no good. Um... Oh, fuck me. Okay, so not this room, maybe. Uh, is it maybe just in this room and I just don't notice it? What's on here? Trouble. Grey's Anatomy like shenanigans. And I don't mean this show. Okay. Is there anything? Hey, I can pick this crap up. Nice. Hey man. I'll break all your stuff. I need some. Head, right? But I don't have the... None of these poor dudes seem to have anything. And yet these rooms seem pointless. Like, other than to be spooky and super not cool, they don't seem to have any other purpose. stuck again. Okay. There's something missing. Well, what could it be? Laudanum? Combination doesn't work. Drill? Combination doesn't work. Glass jar combination doesn't work. Can I drill this guy? Oh! I don't want his. I don't want his brain sauce. Come on, man. Can I use? Oh, I thought maybe I collect the blood. Something missing. What? You want this? No, I... And you don't want the needle? And you don't- you really don't want this. Blood cannot be injected without the proper tool. So, well that's what I was on the friggin' prowl for! What's back this way? Oh, I completely forgot there's this whole other section. Light it up and then immediately run away. Oh, tell us about it. Oh, come on! The flashback of the guy trapped is actually inspired by true events. During the bubonic plague outbreaks, people were buried so quickly that it was not always checked that they were probably dead. That's awful. This meant that people sometimes woke up, finding themselves locked up in tombed, surrounded by corpses. Scratches on doors and walls of such rooms have been found, confirming that it did happen. That's awful. I mean, I think we all knew that, but... What? What happened? Why are all these dead? Where am I? What's happening? Help! Anybody! Help! <coughs> Sir. My throat's bothering me. I had this. Three days. Oh, dude. This is ridiculous. Why doesn't someone go to this room? Hey! Anybody? Am I all alone here? Help! Help! I'm so tired. If I sleep, will I wake from this nightmare? If not, I pray my heavenly father. 
father will take me in my sleep. Unfortunately, I wrote longhand, which means it's fucking gone. But, um, there was a sequence in it where the, the protagonist or whatever, they, uh, they fall into this, this pit and it all takes place inside this mountain, right? So they fall into this pit filled with water, bodies, and I have this very, oh, shut up, Dane. This very like descriptive section where the the protagonists are working together in the water. So I guess under my trying to push the bodies together and then sort of lash them together with their clothes and build like a like a dead people pyramid to get back up to the opening and get the heck out. No. <laughs> Gross kind of a cool idea to fall into like a body disposal pit but you know how they tell you if someone's drowning and you you know swim out to them that's a bad idea because what are they gonna do they're gonna push you under because well you may float weight is a problem so I don't think you can just stack a bunch of dead people together Especially considering that one of the big things that makes you buoyant is the air in your lungs. And just climb that shit all the way to the top. <laughs> Oops. Consider taking a stab at rewriting that book. It was kind of... I never get it completely because I don't, I don't even know where the, the hard copy is. I have this now? Do you need do you need the jar now maybe? 